Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeremy, aka Uzaru Jirambe, back again with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be going over the full details and stats for the new 350 million download celebration LRs being the AGL Full Power Frieza and Int Super Saiyan Goku. They did drop a data download on Dokkan just about an hour before the Dokkan now goes live, so of course with that data download comes all of the stats for the new units and the information's floating around on the internet everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and do a breakdown of these two units right now, as well as talk about the two banners and when we will be seeing them go live in game so we can summon for these guys. So we'll get into all that information here in a minute, but first, go ahead and check out my links in the description below for my social media pages to follow me over there, and also check out the link for the Discord chat, where we have an awesome community of people playing Dokkan Battle and Dragon Ball Legends. Always a fun place to hang out and chat with everyone and get any in-game help you may need, so I look forward to seeing you over there. If you're new to the channel or you haven't done so yet, consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date on future content like this. Drop a like on the video and comment down below and let me know what units you guys are looking forward to most for these banners. So let's go ahead and hop over to Twitter. Shout out to MatmosPL. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Thank you for organizing all of this information for us. Really nice. Go ahead and check out MatmosPL. I'll put a link down in the description below so you can go ahead and follow them. Great information here. Uh, this is about as big as I can blow up the text on screen, so hopefully you guys can read it, but if not, we're going to go ahead and read it all off anyway. We're going to start with the Super Saiyan Goku, of course. Again, Int type with a new category leader skill, Legendary Existence, and of course, Super Saiyan's category lead. Uh, key plus 3, HP attack, 170% defense plus 150%, so a high percentage of uh, HP and attack and a really good percentage for defense still there with 170 and 150%, so great stuff there. Uh, the 12 key super attack is going to infinitely stack defense and the eight key, 18 key excuse me, super attack is going to infinitely stack attack. So this is going to be an amazing unit with infinite uh, stacking for defense and attack. Going to be a great unit. They, you know they're going <laughs> to they're going to make these guys broken because they got to make they got to make people want to go in and summon for them. So passive skill key plus two attack and defense was 159 percent. He's going to launch an additional super attack within the same turn after receiving attack, plus an additional attack plus 59 percent and medium chance of launching additional super attack as the second or third attacker in a turn. So you have a chance to launch up to three super attacks in the same turn without any hidden potential, so that's really good there. And then again, we have key plus one at the start of each turn, up to three, plus an additional attack, plus 59% when you have an extreme class enemy. So you're gonna be really good against extreme class type uh, enemies and uh, events like that. And then of course, the final part of the passive, in true Super Saiyan Goku from the Namek uh, Saga style, he performs a critical hit when you have an enemy whose name includes Frieza, excluding Frieza Soldier. And he has an active skill which is going to greatly raise attack temporarily and cause ultimate damage to enemy, and the conditions can be activated when facing only one enemy whose class is extreme class and HP is 30% or less. So it's going to be uh, pretty good there, pretty much going to do the angry Kamehameha active skill, going to raise attack and cause ultimate damage, so, so some free damage there pretty much, free super attack if you want to call it that when those conditions are met. So really good unit here, infinite sta uh, stacking, excuse me, for defense and attack, great percentage for leader skill, and that passive is just all over with additional super attacks, attack and defense buffs, uh, key, key buffs, uh, critical hits for Frieza enemies, I mean, or Frieza type uh, teams, so it's, it's a great, great unit, and I'm looking forward to this guy coming out. Uh, you can see all of the categories there, great uh, list of categories there, Planet Namek Saga, Goku's Family, Exploding Rage, Pure Saiyan, Super Saiyan, uh, Full Power, may I, may I, not all of them, uh, I didn't mention all of them just now, so I'm not going to read through all of them, but you can see them right there. Really, really great uh, categories there for the unit, so really awesome. So let's go ahead and let's move on to the Frieza, so again, L-R-A-G-L Frieza, hopefully you can read that, um, let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit more, nope, that's as far as it's going to let me go, so, anyways, we've got a new category here for leader skill, Sworn Enemies, or Planet Namek Saga category, P plus 3, again, HP attack 170%, defense plus 150%, so that's good there, the super, the 12 key super attack for the Frieza is going to instantly stack attack, where the 18 is going to infinitely stack defense, so it's reverse of the Goku, you can see here. They've got uh, defense on the 12 key and, and 18 key attack for the Goku, and Frieza's got it vice versa, but still good, where you're going to be able to infinitely stack attack and defense for both units. The passive skill of the Frieza, Q 
Key plus two attack and defense plus 100%, launches an additional super attack within the same turn after receiving attack, medium chance of launching an additional super attack as a second or third attacker in the turn, so pretty much same concept as the Goku, but you get an additional attack and defense plus 100% for six turns from the start of turn, and attack plus 50% starting from the seventh turn, with key plus one at start of each turn up to three, and an additional attack plus 50% when you have a super class enemy, so again, kind of the uh, reverse from the Goku, and he performs a critical hit, of course, <laughs> when you're fighting a uh, enemy whose name is Goku, excluding uh, Goku Youth, Captain Ginyu Jr., and stuff like that. So, uh, active skill for him is going to greatly raise attack temporarily and cause ultimate damage to the enemy, and that can be activated when facing only one enemy whose class is super and 30% or less HP. And again, categories, really good categories here with the full power. You've got the final trump card transformation boost, the new sworn enemies category, hopefully that'll be pretty good, and some other categories like that as well. So both of these units are going to be really good. Hopefully these units will be really, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to pull them. I I'm, I'm saying I've got about a thousand dragon stones. Hopefully we'll be able to pull them. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the banners dropping. Best of luck to everyone that's going in on them. And again, these banners will be dropping. Uh, shout out to DBC, DBZ Space, excuse me, where it shows 11.30 p.m. PDT, uh, which is about, uh, let's see, from the recording of this video, it is exactly three hours away. So I did undershoot it a little bit by saying that it was going to release 30 minutes or so after Dokkan. The Dokkan Now goes live, but they are going to be waiting probably about an hour or two after the Dokkan Now is over. So uh, I put an update in the comments on that uh, YouTube short because basically we're seeing these units tonight is the main thing. And it's going to be awesome. Again, best of luck on your guys' summons. We've got the Piccolo and the uh, third form Frieza as well. They're going to be on these banners. They're not too bad. I don't, I don't want to make the video too long by going into their stats as well, but basically the Piccolo is going to be uh, the same leader skill of Planet Namek Saga, and the Frieza is going to be Sworn Enemies, and uh, they're, they're decent units as well. Hopefully uh, you can pull them, and uh, more so, hopefully you can pull the new LRs. These are awesome units. Uh, the animations are all over the internet as well. I'm going to try to post a video on animations. Great animations, awesome stuff, awesome units, and hopefully you guys have the best of luck pulling these guys. But that's everything for the video today. Hopefully you found some useful information. If you did, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Again, comment down below and let me know what you're looking forward to most for these banners. And check out those links for my social media pages and the Discord. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming by and checking out the video. Subscribe for more content like this. We'll catch you on the next one. Signing out.